done for us, but also what it means to be sons and daughters of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm going to read several scriptures to you, and then I'm going to bring home the concept. And if you had a title for this message, it would be Renewing of the Mind. First scripture is Romans 6.23. Most of us know this and can quote it off the top of our head. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Acts 10.36. The word which God sent to the children of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. Of all. Of all. Is he Lord of all? With me? With you? Says he's Lord of all. Romans 8, 39. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Nothing. Nothing you do, nothing you go, nothing you've done, did, or might do can separate you, can separate me from God. John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to be children of God, to those, to those who believe in his name. Do we believe in his name? We have the right to be children of God. The right. Who gave us that right? Was that Ruthie that I just said? Was it Dana? Oh, well, she was good. I love response. I mean, I do a lot with kids. You can, I'm going to get y'all talking to me in a few minutes. For, okay, Romans 8, 14. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. In the Bible, you hear it talk a lot about the sons of God. It doesn't really mention daughters. Newer versions put sons and daughters in there. To God, it's not about what sex you are, what gender you are. We are all sons of God. If you're more comfortable to say sons and daughters, do it. Come on. It's okay. It's just a boy. <laughs> Joel and Acts, they broke it down so that way you would know it was sons and daughters. In the last days, he will pour out his spirit on his sons and daughters. Then he brings it home a little bit more to make sure you know it's for everybody. His male servants and maid servants, the handmaiden, male, female, pour out his spirit on all of us. Galatians 3.26, for all, for you all are sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Ding, 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 ding. That's our key. Jesus Christ. If you know him, you are his child. Come on. You have been given the authority and power of Jesus Christ. Your brother. Your brother. Is he not the son of God?
God anointed him, a female, with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. God was with him. Second Corinthians one. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. 